Alexa, turn on door lock. Okay. Alexa, turn off door lock. Okay. Hey guys, Alexa. welcome back. In this video, turn we'll be making lock. an amazing Alexa control okay. door locking system Alexa. with which we can lock and unlock a door, door using voice commands. Designing, making, installing and making use of this lock is super easy. So not only do they improve the safety and convenience of your home, but they also make their installation and use more convenient. So let's get started. I used Altium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. Altium is a PCB designer that can be used to create simple PCBs for your hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. If you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are really gonna love it. Altium subscription includes Altium 365 which lets you design, share and manufacture your projects in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage lets you share designs and ideas with teammates or clients easily. You can download and install the free trial version from the description down below. And if you are a student, you get a 6 month full license absolutely free. And here we are an Altium designer. Here, I'll be using a solenoid door lock that works on 12V. So, I'll be connecting a 12V DC adapter. The input power is connected to a 7805 voltage regulator. 7805 is a 5V volt voltage regulator which will convert input voltage of 7 to 32V to a steady 5V DC supply. There are indicator LEDs across various points for easy troubleshooting. Here there are two switches. One is a relay that is turned on by this transistor BC547 whose base is connected to digital pin 3. And then there is this MOSFET that is connected to digital pin 5 of the Arduino. Here, you should also see a buzzer that is turned on and off by this transistor right here. This transistor is connected to the digital pin 6 of the Arduino. You can either connect the lock to the MOSFET or the relay which can be turned on and off programmatically. I decided to connect the lock to the MOSFET so that I can use relay to connect any other additional device like a lamp or a motor to open the door. This is just my design guys. So like I said earlier, I will provide the schematics in the description so that you can redesign the entire thing, customize it and then make your own version of it. So whatever you do, first thing is to try it out on a breadboard. Once you are getting the output, then you can use it as such or make your own PCBs. I decide to go with PCB. I have designed a PCB layout where you can easily mount your Arduino Nano RP2040, relays, MOSFETs and other components, set this up without using messy wires and cables hanging around. And it's cool to make our own PCBs for our projects, right? The board is lightweight and can be powered using a 9V battery or a 9-12V to 12 volt power adapter depending on the solenoid lock voltage. Then I ordered the PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. If you are interested in making your own PCBs for your projects, check out the link below. You can get a $5 discount when you sign up using the link below and get an additional $5 discount at the checkout by providing the coupon code PCBWAYLAB. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. From there, you will be directed to a form where you can provide more elaborate board details. Update your board information in the PCB specification screen and on the next screen, you should be able to upload your Gerber file and submit it for a review. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make the payment and wait for your PCBs to arrive. Once you get all the components and the PCBs, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components before soldering. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Now, let's get down to the software part. Here, I'll be programming the board using Arduino IoT Cloud. The first thing to do is log into Arduino IoT Cloud platform. When you log in, you should be able to see a screen somewhat like this. And here under things, you should be able to see all the projects that you have worked on before, all the projects that you have created. So here you can see there's a project named Voice Door Lock. So this is the project that we are working on currently. So simply click on that and it will take you to another page. In this page, under setup, you should be able to see all the details, everything related to this project. Under variables, you should be able to see all the variables that are linked to this project and under associated devices, you can see which device is associated to this project and under network, you should be able to see the Wi-Fi network to which this board will be connected to when this project is up and running. 
So when you start the project, you won't be seeing any variables right here. In order to add the variable, simply click on this add button. Give this variable a name. Let's name it var1. And under this variable type, we have to select the right variable type. Alright, since we will be controlling this door lock using Alexa, we have to select an Alexa compatible variable. So simply select that, scroll down and select this switch. The value of the switch will be either true or false. Once we have done that, simply click on add variable. Since I have already created this variable, I will be removing this one. To remove that, simply click on these three doors right here and click on delete. Alright, the next thing to do is link an Arduino board to this project that you can do from this section right here. And the last thing is simply enter the Wi-Fi name and password of your Wi-Fi network. Once we have done that, we can start coding. For that, click on this sketch button right here. The advantage of using Arduino IoT Cloud is once you have set up your thing and all the variables, it will automatically generate a skeleton code that will include all the variables and critical functions which is required to run the code. We just have to add extra variables and functions. Now I'll be removing all unnecessary comments so that it will look neat. And here is our final code guys. Now let's take a deeper look into it. In the setup function, we will initialize serial communication, communication with Arduino IoT Cloud, set the pin mode and then prepare the carrier to run the remaining code. This function will run when there is any change in this variable. When the value changes, the function will run. So we are simply toggling the pin that is connected to the door lock when we get a command from Alexa. Here I have added some beeping function as well. That was really simple right? Now take out your smartphone and launch Alexa app. Go ahead and install Arduino skill for Alexa and link your account. Now tap on discover devices and it will start scanning for any IoT based Alexa supported devices. Once the scan is completed, it will show you the variable that we created earlier as an Alexa device. Simply add the device. That's Alexa. it guys. Now you should be able Turn to control the lock. the lock using your voice command via Alexa. Alexa. You can use Alexa in your mobile Turn phone app as well as Amazon devices like Echo Door to talk to Alexa and control these devices. If you like this project and if you are really interested in building amazing DIY projects, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. See you in the next video.